Okay, now that we have our player ship program to move around using the arrow keys, we're now going to program um, the large asteroid and its spawn points. So these are the um, events that you should have programmed now if we first navigate back to the game um, screen or the game sheet. We need to insert the large asteroid objects and the spawn point objects into the main layer. So make sure you have the main layer selected in the um, in the layers menu. Um, if you first just quickly click and drag the large asteroid object onto the main screen, make sure you set its bullet behavior to 50. Here yeah, it should be currently set to 40. You'll probably see later on if you don't change this, but 40 is its, or not 40, 400 is its speed, and that will kind of make the asteroid a bit too fast when it moves around on the screen. So you set that to 50, right there, and potentially kind of want it to bounce off of solids as well. So make sure you've got the bounce off solid option ticked as well. Tick off that. Next thing you're going to do is you want to insert the spawn points. Now these are just going to be the sections on the screen that well spawn the asteroids. Just make sure they are an appropriate size around your screen. Mine kind of probably will look a little bit bigger because I've zoomed out a bit, but on yours you shouldn't have to resize it. Um, then copy and paste that or insert a few more if you hold control and click and drag you should automatically kind of copy and paste so control click and drag there we go make a few around the actual screen and there we go so we've now got our spawn points set up around the layout again make sure you have the main layer selected if you haven't got the main layer selected, then you might have a couple of issues. Okay, but please make sure you have this layer over here selected so the asteroids can spawn on our main game layer. So we have our objects all set up now. Now if you click on to the game events sheet here, we can now start programming our spawn points and asteroids to appear and collide with the ship. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the actual spawn points. So we'll add event under line four. We want a system event. There we go. We're then going to go down to pick a random instance. So this will make it so that we can select a random spawn point. There we go. Click done. Okay, we're now going to add a second event or second condition to this event. So if you right click on the event and go add another condition, we're now going to make it so that it selects a system or, you know, it's going to select the spawn point every five seconds. I think the time we want is... every x seconds and the seconds that we want to type in is going to be random and then in brackets five okay so random five okay so every random five seconds it's going to pick a spawn point and the action that we want to occur every five seconds on those spawn points so we're going to add an action now to this event. We want it to select a spawn point. So click the spawn point op option or object even. We then want it to, if I can find the option, spawn another object. There it is. Click next. We want it to spawn the large asteroid object. On layer zero, layer zero is our main layer, and we want it to spawn on image point zero as well. Click done. And then from there, 
we want the ast large asteroid, so we're going to add another action on this event. We want the large asteroid to set its angle towards the position. There we go. And we're going to set the angle towards player ship. Dot X player ship dot Y. Okay, so that means when the large asteroid spawns, it's going to automatically start heading towards wherever the player ship is. Okay, so it's going to be setting its X and Y position angles towards the player ship. All right, then click done. And that is now our kind of spawn points for our asteroid or created. So the asteroids should now spawn every five seconds. And as they spawn, they're going to start heading towards the player ship. We're now going to set up some collision events. The collision events will look for a detection or look for certain objects to collide with each other. And once those objects collide, a certain action will happen. So we're going to add another event under line five. If you click add event here, we're now going to be looking to see what happens when the large asteroid okay, collides with, and we want to now look for the collision event on collision with another object. Okay, and the object that we're going to check to see if it's collided with is the player ship. Okay, so you're going to pick the player ship right here as your object. Click done. We now have an event set up that will check to see if the large asteroid has collided with the player spaceship. We're going to add an action to this event. And what we want to happen is we want the player ship next to be destroyed on collision with the asteroid. Okay, and we want destroy. All right, after the player ship has been destroyed, we want a system event, which will wait about a couple of seconds. So we want the system event to wait. You can double click on it or click next. Okay, we want it to wait two seconds. Okay, and then after it waits two seconds, we're gonna want the system to reset so that the player ship appears again in the middle of the screen or wherever it is you have um, placed the player ship, right? So we want it to da, 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 restart layout. There we go. Okay, restart layout. Click next. And there we go. All right, so we've now programmed the events to, well, spawn the asteroids every random five seconds. So every five seconds, around that time um, an asteroid will spawn and start heading towards the player spaceship if that asteroid collides with the player spaceship the player spaceship will be destroyed the system then waits two seconds and then it will restart the layout so if i now test that by clicking on the preview button on the top of the page let's see what happens so here we go here's our game we should be able to move our player ship around. There should be some asteroids floating in now as well. And all the asteroids will be aiming towards the player ship. Obviously bounce off each other. And there we go. If it collides with the player ship, the player ship gets destroyed. And then the game is restart. Or the game restarts. Okay. So if for some reason um, this is not working, Okay, what you will need to do is if you just close down, obviously, the preview window. Okay, so, yeah, you need to close down the game window. What I would advise doing is going back to the game option. Click on the large asteroid and you might just need to remove a behavior which is pre-programmed. So you click on the behaviors option here. 
you'll see an option or a behavior that's programmed that says destroy outside layout. This might be causing an issue, obviously, if for some reason the asteroid is not spawning in your game. So what you need to do is right click on that and delete it. Okay. Um, but again, only do that if you're having some problems with your game and your game is not spawning the asteroids. If your game is spawning the asteroids, then again, just leave it where it is. Okay, so well done everyone, you have now completed tutorial 2.